टेन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स द प्रेजेंट गवर्नमेंट डिसीजन टू विथ ड्रॉ हाई वैल्यू करेंसी नोट्स फ्रॉम सर्कुलेशन वाज ए बोल्ट फ्रॉम द ब्लू द टाइम कंज्यूमिंग प्रोसेस टू प्रिंट न्यू नोट्स एंड रिप्लेस स्क्रैप्ड वंस कपल्ड विथ ए कैप ऑन डेली कैश विथड्रॉल्स क्रिएटेड पैनिक एमंग ट्वेंटी फोर करोड़ बैंक अकाउंट होल्डर्स मोस्ट रस्ड एंड स्टूड इन क्यूज बिफोर बैंक्स टू एक्सचेंज दियर ओल्ड करेंसी नोट्स एंड गेट दियर डेली कोटा ऑफ कैश द सुप्रीम कोर्ट बींग द पेनेशिया of all ills several public interest litigations were filed challenging the validity of demonetization the supreme court decided to focus on ameliorating the harassment faced by common people forced to stand in queues for hours by the government's decision to demonetize without warning on friday an supreme court bench headed by the chief justice of india surprised many by its green assessment of the possible fall out of people being forced to stand for hours in frustratingly long queues there could be riots it said if a bench headed by cji t s thakur who has 22 years of experience as a judge of constitutional courts fears so it could be true for judges have deep insight into the psychology of common people who throng the courts in search of justice indians are used to standing in queues in our childhood water used to trickle down the public tap for two hours every morning and evening vessels of various shapes and sizes used to be kept in queue the length of which was a, a spectacle for us there were fights but in the small towns of odisha in the late 70s we as children never saw a right when we grew up a little we stood in queues for hours for various purposes to get ration and kerosene from pds shops to pay electricity bills and pay college fees and to buy cinema tickets in delhi all these queues were still in existence in addition we found people standing in long queues every time a kind person offered free food on festive occasions poverty alongside delhi's opulence was a surprise for many of us at aims people come from far flung areas and queue up early morning to get opd card made they wait till late afternoon to get access to a doctor who tirelessly examines patient after patient through the day 
this is the patience of the people in the capital. Did a right take place there in the past? The Supreme Court in its February 25, 1998 judgment in Ram Luhaya case had said the right of a citizen to live under Article 21 casts obligation on the state. This obligation is further reinforced under Article 47. It is for the state to secure health to its citizen as its primary duty. No doubt, government is rendering this obligation by opening government hospitals and health centers, but in order to make it meaningful, it has to be within the reach of its people as far as possible to reduce the queue of waiting lists. The Supreme Court would like to have a fresh look at the facilities in hinterland government hospitals which have rotted over the last few decades. Let us not forget the queues before temples. In A. S. Narayana case, the Supreme Court described the queue at Tirumala Tirupati Temple, thus Lord Venkat Temple of TTD has its centuries old history. It had its glory with the patronage of Chola kings who donated large tracts of land for its maintenance and upkeep. Equally, it suffered plunder by French invaders and British Empire which used its income as part of the public exchequer. It has regained its great glory with immense faith and devotion the people have in Lord Venkat who visit daily in locks, wait in queue for a day for darshan for a few seconds. Did we ever hear of a right at Tirupati temple? Last but not the least is the long queues of litigants before courts. There are three crore cases pending in various courts. Nearly 35% of cases or 1 crore are pending for more than 5 years. If on the average 5 persons are directly or indirectly affected by a case, then there are at least 5 crore people visiting courts periodically in search of elusive resolution of their cases. Going to court is not viewed sympathetically in India. People still look down upon a person who often visits court. Yet, commoners patiently stand in queues without writing in courts while awaiting justice. The rich, famous and influential break this queue for justice with impunity with the help of successful lawyers commanding handsome appearance fees. The courts allow these biggies urgent hearing. This delays justice for those 
standing in queue for years. We hope the Supreme Court gives equal weightage to people's frustration and anger for being forced to stand before ATMs, banks and courts for long. This is our earnest need for the justice. We hope this will be taken care of.